Merge physical, mental, and spiritual practices with free yoga in the park. Take a time out to balance the chaos of life with a pause to check in on your mental and physical well-being. And here to tell us about free yoga in the park classes happening around Sacramento is Yoga Moves Us board member Sabrina Lockhart. Hi, Sabrina. Namaste. Good morning. Love and light. Good morning. Thank you. Great to have you here. So, and I'm very uh, we're back in the park. About, yeah, I'm very curious to hear about yoga in the park. And these are free classes, and you just started it up. How are classes going now that things are reopening? Well, we've been online for the past year, so people are so excited to get back in our parks. Right now we're open in McKinley Park on Saturday mornings and Tahoe Park on Sunday mornings and uh, Folsom on Saturday mornings too. Uh, we had to set some capacity limits and we've, we've been, uh, our classes have been full. So folks can go online to yogamoosus.org, sign up for their spot and uh, join us in the park. It's such a great experience. All right, so you can't just show up. I mean, I guess you could show up at the park, but to officially be part of the class, you're gonna need to pre-register. Yes, you have to pre-register uh, just so that we can um, adhere to the permits that the county has given us. Uh, it's a pretty simple process, and um, and if you're you're on the wait list, then we can notify you and let you know if there's a spot in the class available. But as things are reopening, we'll be able to add more spots to the classes. All right, so when it comes to yoga, there's different levels, right? There's beginners, more intermediate, and they're obviously advanced. Who are your classes good for? Our classes are designed for all levels. I mean, we have people show up who've never stepped on a yoga mat to people who have a daily practice and have for years. And really that's the focus of Yoga Moves Us is to take away some of the pretense that comes with yoga. I hear so many times that, oh, I don't have the right clothes. I can't touch my toes. Uh, I, 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 yoga is not for me, but we want to eliminate all those barriers and really make it a fun, accessible way to, to enjoy yoga. And if you've never practiced outside, if you've been practicing at home or in a studio, Outside in the park is such a different experience and I highly recommend coming out and joining us because our classes are so much fun and teachers offer modifications for more stretching, for more strength, so that you really learn to listen to your body and take what you need. And just looking at those pictures, yeah, doing the yoga outside looks very enticing. Talk about the different styles and then classes are also done in Spanish. Yes, so uh, we offer uh, flow classes where there's a little bit more breath and movement. We offer yin classes where you stay closer to the ground, you use uh, blankets at home or beach towels, whatever you have around. And that uh, really helps you focus and also get some nice deep stretches. Mm -hmm. And then during the pandemic, we started classes in Spanish, which has been another way that we've been uh, trying to make yoga a little, a little bit more accessible to different communities. Very nice. And these are free classes that you're doing in the parks that you mentioned. What is it about getting outside mm -hmm. and practicing yoga in, in the natural elements? So yoga means to bring together and to come together in community in our parks and practice together. I always love when we teach and I see folks talking to each other and I ask, oh, have, are, did you bring your friend out here? And they always say, no, we met each other. We come out here every weekend and we got to know each other because we place our mats next to each other. So practicing in community, it's just a, a, diff a different way being outside to connect with your neighbors. And after a year when we have been so isolated, I think it's really special to be back in the park. Reintroduce yourself to, to the folks that, you, that live in your area. Do you have any advice you can offer to someone who wants to take up yoga? They're new to it. And is there any kind of age limit? If you're new to yoga, I highly encourage you to come out to our park practices. You get to try different teachers. Uh, teachers from all over Sacramento uh, volunteer their time. So you can find a teacher that you really like. And um, if you're you're new, th this is a great way for you to learn in a safe space. And there is no age limit. A lot of times we have whole families come out and join us. Oh, nice. you know, the little ones have a hard time sitting on their mat <laughs> for a long period of time, but we're in a park. So maybe one of the grownups can sneak off to the playground with the littles for a little bit and then swap halfway through class. But yes, we have, we have yogis of all ages. There's, there's, you're, you're not too old, you're not too young. Please come out and join us. You don't even need a mat. You can bring a beach towel, whatever you have. Everyone's welcome just as they are.
All right, Sabrina, great information. Namaste to you. And for more information on these free in-person summer classes, you can visit yogamovesus.org.